Opposition, big chest, squeeze the orange, and what angle are our legs at? 100 to 120. Yeah, yeah, just not 90, okay? <laughs> Top of that squat. Okay, so, and at the second camp, we focused on um, our cadence and our setup, like our calling system to get in. Today, we're gonna focus on our pre-setup, and we're gonna give you a new way of setting up that you've probably never done before, never seen before, never understood before. Okay, and it involves mainly around the locks and back row. Um, so with the, with the locks, a lot of you at club level, a very common way of setting up is we have the one knee down. Okay, now what happens if you have to go down on one knee? What do you have to do? Once you go in the scrum, what do you have to do? Yeah, and what's another way of saying that? You've got to get back up again. So you've got to go down to come back up. The props are starting up and they're coming down. So what's happening is you've got this situation where this, the locks are coming up, the front row is coming down, but nothing's going forward, okay? The other way is two knees down, which is what we did last time. Positive about that is you get from two knees into power position pretty quick, yeah? Negative of that is when you come up, what's, the, what's your first movement when you come up? Oh, you're not a lock, you won't know. Who was the lock on the week? Were you a lock on the weekend or you played flanker? Uh, yeah. Okay, who were the locks? Melka. Yeah, Melka. What did you, when you both knees, what's your, yeah, what? I started calling, I was sending it into the outdoor, the indoor pitch. Outdoor? Outdoor. Yeah. Um, first movement when you come off your knees, what happens? You go forward. Okay, so now we've got a situation where we're, the, the locks come up, the front row come down, they're going forward. Okay, all off balance. And what is balance? Balance is strength, height is what? Power. Balance is strength, height is king. power. King. Balance is king, height is power. Okay, so what we're gonna do this morning, we're gonna show you uh, why we do a split stance for the props. So Viking and Elias and Emir and Axel. Uh, I'm going to go delve into why I want you to start with the split stance as opposed to square, which is what a lot of you do. Um, Viking and Elias, I notice your timing when you put your foot back is post engagement. So you're going crouch, bind, set, and you're going in with the split stance and then you're putting your foot back. What, what happens when you do that at a post engagement? Your balance is off. So we need to be in the power position post engagement. So now look at the locks here. This is the third way. And this is how the Southern Hemisphere teams have been doing this for about five years now. And I always wondered why. And then I got told why and I found out why and it makes complete sense. It's more efficient. And I'm gonna prove it to you this morning. So I'll play this scrum and I want you to watch the locks, this area here. 15 up, defending a 10, and they've dropped Bowden Barrett back. He's dropped back to fullback, looking if the kick is not anchor enough to look. Look at that. Crouch, bind, in power position already. Before we've even engaged. There's no movement, there's no offshoot. Okay, the flankers have an important role in this as well. So flankers. Anchor enough to launch the counter attack. Well, it's seven against eight. Terrific in Hamilton. Another one. That was Locked. almost Carmel. Split standing start. Created, but the 90's just been brilliant. Okay, so we're going to work on our split standing start. And then our front row set up. Most of this revolves around the front row, the locks, and the flankers. The okay. So, so as you can see, Gappy, you're opened up there. Open up there. Okay, so come apart. First thing, a very common thing I see at club level, and this is back when I played, it was all about coming in. So put your arm up on being a prop. The props come in and they do this. What happened to him then when I did that? You get him out of position. <laughs> Moved around, he's unbalanced. Okay, same thing with the hooker. If I'm the hooker and you're the prop, yeah, a lot of hookers are having to do this. What does that do to me now? Unbalanced. Unbalanced, but it's opened me up, which is the problem we had before. So, now if you go up, you all loose head. Um, so when you come in, come in again, but don't, don't, don't rip your shoulder through, just 
come in and I'll, you know the you know the game foosball when you play football and you spin the, the rods. I want you to think of you boys as foosball, um, little foosball stick figures, and one pole goes through your shoulders, so your shoulders have to go through a pole, and I'd have to be able to spin you, and then a pole has to go through all your hips. That's better. So now you can see you're not as opened up there. All right, and then the, the, the techniques and grips and stuff we bring in later will make you tighter, okay? So if I'll be the prop, I'll come in on you now. So instead of coming in and ripping through, you just place your hip on, come around, and making sure that your arm and forearm, arm, forearm have contact. It's not about the fingers and the grip there. That's power, that's power. Okay, you gotta pretend you have glue or paint. Some of you might have heard the paint analogy. But pretend you got glue. Now come in and do everything I've just said. Foosball, both on the shoulders and the hips. Come in, Vicky. Get on the foosball stick, Vicky. Yeah, okay. So then, I uh, wanna have your foot further forward. Split, and then leaning slightly over. And you foot forward, okay? Right, you're kind of leaning back. Be more on, on the other top, yeah. Foot forward more. Okay, that's a lot better. Joel, do you want to have a go? Yep. Jump in, mate. Same principles. Foosball, rods, hips in. Hips. It's better and sink. Cool. Okay. Now, I want to do the next part on a scrum machine. That's the showing why we do the split stance. So we'll, we'll put a bow on the scrum stuff for the moment and then we'll bring in the standing stuff later. So we're going to um, uh, continue on from the classroom and, and we'll, we'll get the building blocks going, um, or as I like to call it, the dominoes falling uh, of our scrum setup. Who, I don't know, this might be a, my age showing, but who's heard of Transformers here? Did you, just, did you have Transformers as kids? Did you, did you have the Dinobots? Yeah. Did you have the Dinobots? Yep. Did they form the big dinosaur? Like, they all, there's like five of them and they formed the dinosaur. Yeah. Like, did you, yeah, because they had, I can't I remember. might just be all fashion as well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, well, the scrum's the same. It's like a bunch of Transformers. Or, here, here, I'm going back to the 80s now, Voltron. You remember Voltron? Yeah. So it's like all the Voltron lines and the cars <coughs> forming up. That's what the scrum is. Okay. So, first we're going to talk about why we do the split stance as opposed to a square stance. So, Viking, yep. can you step up and just show me good body position? Stay there. Okay, come on. Okay, so that marker there, now stand with your feet now stand square with your feet behind the whistle there. So, this is where he's supposed to bind. So if you, you stand square, try and bind there. <laughs> you can't. You can't bind. I mean, if you're trying to stand up, you can't bind when you're just standing up from there, okay? So we're asking him to bind on the opposite prop before he's even engaged. And that's where the split stance come in. So now if you come step forward, and go just crouch, bind. Now he can bind. Okay, and then set. Okay, there's where you went wrong in the game. You're putting your leg back post engagement, so come up. So now what I want you to do instead is go crouch, bind. Now get that leg back on the bind. So now it's hard, you're off balance here. Okay, so come up. So this is where the flanker's roll comes in. Can you hold up the so now we want to do what's called a flanker anchor and you've probably seen some flankers do this they're down on one knee and they've got their arm up here on the on the prop they call this the flanker anchor so now if you go crouch come around and have a look as well boys bind so i'm holding him back leg back so as soon as he gets that leg back then i can come down okay so come up again crouch Bind, leg back, set. 
Now he's in. Does that all make sense, flankers? Yeah. You want to come out, each flanker come and try that. So you want to be the fl flank anchor, the brace, we call it. Stand up here higher. And you're holding him back. So your trigger to let go of him and go down into good position is when his leg goes back and he's binded. Yep. So when he binds and his leg is back, then you can let him go. Because that means he's taking the weight on the opposite prop and he can then hold that position pre-engagement. Okay? Crouch. Bind. Legs must go. No, legs gotta go back. Set. Cool. Let's have some props and flankers on that side. We'll, we'll rotate through. Go on, prop Go in. Yeah, come up, come up. Okay, so again, you're waiting, you're too right, early, you need, to, you need to let him hold <laughs> you up. Square, flat. If you go up, up. Okay. go come up. Outside leg up. Just go get yourself what you need to be doing. And you're okay. looking. Now you've got to keep your leg up there. Here. That's why if you and you're holding his leg him. back like that, so you've got to come okay. up. Okay, and he's going so down. Pull his leg back. So crouch. Okay, so you're your shoulder bind. needs to be now bind here. Leg back, leg back, set. Go again now together. Okay, one more of the rep and then we're okay. Crouch. Bind. Crouch. Set. That's good. Change the flankers. Bind. Now we just had a great question from Viking. He's like, Do you want to say it? How's the fence going? Also, I'm going to stop here. So it's on. Så sen som jag liksom ville hålla på något sätt här för jag liksom inte kunde, jag kunde inte gå bak med båda fötterna och hålla mig stabilt fortfarande för att kunna gå in. Ja, What is the solution for that? We've given one already. I'm there. You're going to be there. So you're going to have more support here. You got your flanker anchor. What else is he going to have behind? Second row. Second row. So let's add that now. So give me good position. Um, Viking again. So go in. Now can I have one of the locks come in? Anyone? Melka, go on. So now engage, bind up to him, so do your cross bind. So go in, cross bind. Now come up off your feet and just hold it there. Yeah, that's good. Right, come up. So come up, Viking. So you've got your mark now, which was here. Right, so now you got your split stance set up, so I'd go a little bit more forward. Now you want to do the same set up, so you want to have your outside leg up. No, no, Just keep the bow on there, outside leg there. up. Now come down, now stay standing, come in your cross bind. There, put the flanker anchor in. So holding him back. So now what's going to happen, Melka, is it's going to go crouch. Wait, don't crouch yet. So it's going to go crouch, bind. Then when you see his leg go back, you then put your leg back, so it's like a domino. Boom, boom, and then the eights will go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so you only know, you know that he's stable and being supported. When his leg goes back, then you can put yours back. So let's go. Crouch, bind. Too early, Melka. Come up, come up. It's too early. You can only go your leg back when he after after. Can you say it in Swedish, um, Neil or Sean? In bank, go to box. Fatigued, at least. I'm sure they must have hard and tight. Okay, set up. Set up. Good. 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 Let's try that now. Let's have props in, new flanker anchors. Again, just pack him. Wait, wait, wait for the lock first. So just go in, have your cross bind, and get your good body position. Good. Come up. Bind. Come up, Axel. <laughs> so line is good. Yeah, so bind. Yeah. So Axel, sit up. So leg forward. Split stance. Split stance. Come, split stance. Leg forward. 
So you come in, flank it anchor. <laughs> so you're holding him back, remember? So crouch. Bind. Bind. Set. Set. Come up. Come up. Okay. So you need a wider stance. That's why you're moving around like this. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, so go a bit wider. So go again. So wider. No, no. Do Cali in Dom. Stand wider like yeah. this. Yeah. That's better. Now you have more power. So come in. Lock in. Hold him back. So hold him back. You should be holding him back. Hold him back. You're not in. You're not in yet. So. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, hang on, grab him. I'm up, so you don't, you, you've got to hold him back so he doesn't, yeah. You're on the other flank of anchor, remember? Okay, so you're yeah. in now, lads. Crouch. Bind. Set. Okay, come up. Uh, Nils, you're asking too high. You have to drop it. Okay, let's add a hooker into that now. Let's add a hooker and two locks. So let's go, we'll go Ryan, Viking, Elias. Um, we'll go Melka and um, Max. So remember our foosball? Yep, foosball. Two broads go through the shoulder and the hips. Sean, can you hold up the bind? Yeah, that's cool. So locks in, remember we're standing. So get your outside feet up in the split stance. Seconds. Flankers on, flanker anchors. Crouch. Bind. Set. Come up, not bad, just still a little bit off balance. I'm late, let's go again. This time I'm gonna ask you to hold that position for a bit. So you've got to really you guys have to hold that weight. You hold. guys have to almost um, brace him a bit as well. You're gonna have a number eight there supporting you too, but if we can do it without the eight, that's better. Okay, let's go. Seconds. Crouch. Bind. Come up. Okay, Liz, your split stance is not enough, you're not balanced. Okay, you gotta you gotta be wider and come up further. Okay. okay. We're in your feedback from you, you're in there. We're being shifted. We're, we're quite far like I'm not once on most of the set. Mm -hmm. My head is on here. Just, we're, we're, my is that a, is that a pre setup issue? Were you straight on first, or you, is it something that's happening? Yeah, like after? once I'd set up, <coughs> we were fine. But then, once we got into that bind, so we started to shift. Okay. Uh, oh, let's watch from the front. Let's go again. Uh, Joel, can you hold the the thing up for bind? Yep. Foosball. Okay, there's our problem. Come up, come up, lads. Foosball theory straight away. Come up, 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 up. Straight away. Your hip is back there, yeah. so that that means straight away your weight's going to go that way. So you want to have your hip against his, and we have that bar going through. Remember what we went up? Okay, let's go. Okay. Seconds. Crouch. Bind. Timber, timber, feedback, what happened, what's it yes, feel like? Stand here and I need to take my leg back. Yeah. Because they push so much. They're pushing you. So that tells me you need to anchor him more and wait till he's set there. Yeah. When he's foot, but don't just go straight away. Same with the locks. Hold him, let him get set. Go one second after their leg goes back. Let's add a number eight for a bit more support. Let's go uh, William. So it, oh, same thing that you did on the weekend, but try and pull them back a bit, give them a bit more support there. Second. Pause, pause, pause. Just for that. Yeah. Crouch. Bind. Oh. 
Come up. First thing I noticed, Max, with your bind, yep. you're binding too low. It's got to, you've got to come up almost to your other ear, grab your other ear. So you've got to grab the top of your shorts. Remember what we said, ear to elbow, elbow to ear. All right, Dicking, what did you just do wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll show you again. I'll give you, I'll be the prop. Come up, come up, come up. Okay, so we're not ripping in, we're not doing this, we're not going like that, because that's probably what's pushing him over. So you set up in front where you need to be. You just come in nice and chill. <coughs> Look at that. Does that still feel tight? Yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty close. There's no gap, I'm pretty close. It's chill, bark and go through my hip. Do that. Just bar up, a, yeah that's it, just hip up, hip up, there you go, now you don't have to rip through. Second. Higher Max, higher, higher Max, yep. No, that's not that. Nope. Come up. Max, you'll bind. So you got to offer him your shirt as well. You should be binding up here. Uh, yeah. it's like it's right. no, just straight up. Come in. Come in. Come come in. in. That's it. Yes. Go. Okay. That's better, Max. Ready? Crouch. Bind. Set. Bind. Set! Here is to sink! Second! Second! Crouch! Great! 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 Bind! Ah, no, no! Crouch! Great! Great! Bind! Set! Here is to sink! Come on! Seconds. Put up, 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 Set! Three, two, three, sink! Come up, no, but where was the end now? There's no... Crouch! Grip! Bind! Set! Three, two, three, sink! Ready! Ready, ready, ready! We've got to steady up after. Now, two, three, steady in Let's try and keep all 16 feet on the ground post drive, okay? So, and now two, three, and stay, stay square, uh, sorry, stay strong in that power position. Second, second. Crouch. Grip, grip, grip. Bind. Set. Three, two, three, sink. Ready, 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 ready. Up, crouch, Grips. bind, 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 come up, crouch, Grips. bind, come up, come up, come up, come up, come Yeah.